Hi everyone! So today, I'm alone. I have a lonely evening. Uh, my husband will um, finish late. So I thought that maybe I would uh, vlog a little bit uh, for my Saturday vlog. Uh, it seems that some of you like it, so I will keep doing it. And uh, I like doing them too, so there we go. <laughs> Uh, I thought I would show you a bit on uh, my setup, uh, how I take pictures, and how I... Um, my setup to film, actually. Uh, I will also uh, give you a small uh, tour of my apartment. It won't be a big tour because my apartment is small. <laughs> show you the paintings. On the wall, you can see uh, back there I have some. Da, da, da. It's not focused because it's focused on me right now, but you can see them. And uh, yeah, I'll start by um, setting up the camera for the pictures. Uh, uh, the way I do it is I use the same light I use to film this one and this one. I place them diagonally, diagonally, in diagonal. <laughs> this is a tough word for me. Hmm, weird. Um, yeah. Uh, so the glare is reduced. Uh, I don't use a camera's flash uh, because uh, when you put a light right in front of a um, fluid painting, it's so shiny that the the flash will just create too much glare on it. Um, so yeah, I'll set up my camera and uh, show you uh, how I take my pictures. Okay, so I have uh, my two lights, one here, one here, and uh, my subject here. So I have center it, focus, And just just take the picture like that. And uh, this one also has a fluorescent aspect to it. So what I use um, in those cases is uh, my light here. Turn it off. Bring it to my height. <laughs> here we go. A little more because I want to fit it under the shelf. It's hot. <laughs> so, not too hot. Perfect. Just unscrew the light. This is what it looks like. This is the light I use for. Um, yeah, to film, to take pictures. This is the light that is in there. And now, <clears throat> I just put, I'll turn that, I just put a uh, black light. It's just a regular black light. Uh, it looks like that. Um, nothing complicated here. And uh, my black light does better once it warms up, so what I do is I turn it on like that, put those uh, flat on the back. Oops, forgot to tighten it. <laughs> and then I will turn off uh, the other lights. Okay, spooky. So my lights are turned off and um, I'm going to take the picture. Focus. And here we go. Just take the picture like that. Now you can see uh, my um, the place where I leave my paintings or the drips to dry. This one is varnished here. 
So I need to uh, prep it to hang and it will be ready for sale. Um, all my other paintings, the light, it <laughs> shines so much under the black lights, it's very cool. And that's about it for that. <laughs> Taking the pictures, it's quite simple really. So I'll turn the lights back on and um, I'll show you my painting setup. Okay, so now the funny part starts. Um, uh, my filming setup is a bit uh, weird. It's a, a build. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Um, first we have the lights in diagonal again because if they're uh, straight in front of me there will be uh, shadows and we don't want to have uh, shadows on the, the canvas. I place the light diagonally like that so I, I cancel the, the shadows they would create. Each one cancels the shadows uh, of the other. So that works uh, quite well. The funny part um, this is a little folder organizing thing. Um, <laughs> we use that and put a laminated picture on top. It's quite big, large, solid. And then we put the tripod on top. My tripod isn't the best. I am looking to get a new one, but it's quite expensive. And here's my table. As you can see, some drips are still drying, I'm leaving them there to keep for later. And uh, my table is light and small. It's kind of cool because I can move it by myself, but uh, it kind of uh, limits the size of the canvases that I can paint. And that's the view I have from where I'm sitting. Uh, usually there's a camera on top, but now I have the camera in my hands. Yep, so it's not on top. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's about it really. When we do the view I the the view on top of the canvas uh, close up, my husband has to move the whole thing <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> I make him work a lot. So yeah, that's a lot of work for him. Um, so we're trying to look for a new tripod, a good quality one, uh, one that goes higher and one that I could uh, put on top of the canvas to have a, a bird's view, uh, like really on top of the canvas and not like a, a bit diagonal like I do, but I do that because I really don't have much choice. Uh, but hey, I do like I can. <laughs> Like, you can do pretty much uh, everything if you really want it with uh, pretty much nothing. <laughs> I have a mural of uh, my paintings. And uh, it's pretty cool, right? This one right there is uh, the first one I got with cells. And I figured figured out a lot of things once that one happened and it pretty much started everything. The research uh, on how things happened really, really, really helpful. Well, it really started everything, <laughs> to be honest. And this one here, it's the Sunset Blizzard. Uh, this one made me discover the fractals. And this one there, uh, one of my first, 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 uh, when I started uh, going for abstract art. And then the drips, and this one, my uh, pretty much only large, very large canvas I did. Oh, and I wanted to show you this. Um, I used uh, this technique in one of my painting this week. Uh, it's been a while since I did this one and uh, I was looking at it the other day and I thought I should reuse those and show it on video because I had never shown it on a video. 
This one was uh, the second fractal uh, experiment discovery. Um, this one it was uh, one of my first actual video. This one was in a video too. The baby cells. Baby cells. Cute. Um, this one was a in a video too. Uh, this one was uh, my, my uh, first very fluid painting. Um, it's so I started the fluid painting. Uh, I didn't get cells in this one, but it's not all about cells like I usually say. Uh, this one has a lot of movement, and I love the transparency of the white on the right side. It's really cool. And then there is the purple and yellow one there. This one is a layered painting. I had a, I made a pour on the bottom and then let it cure dry, and made another pour on top with uh, phosphorescent paints and transparent uh, phosphorescent paints. So you can see through it uh, and see some of the details on there. And this one, I made all the little spots by hand uh, with the green and then an, another green. It's fluorescent and it's pretty uh, psychedelic when you see it under the black light. And the blue one, the blue world. And that's about it for the paintings I have um, on my wall in my living room. Uh, let's see now. Look at them. They're hungry. They know. This one ate too much. It has some shrimp going out of his mouth. <laughs> so next up are the cats. Are you hungry, cat? Yes. Here you go. Here you go. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah, hello. And food for you too. So, now it's not over because I have to uh, check on the cat. Otherwise, um, the little brown cat uh, back there, she will finish up all the bowls and she's getting quite fat, so... Um, yeah, that's not good for her. <laughs> uh, she would eat uh, forever, I think. I, I, I'm not sure. And then she will, like, gobble up all her food super quickly. And while the other cats didn't even, like, eat a quarter of their food, so it's quite uh, weird. Now, let's go in the bedroom. I have more painting here. So I do some uh, figurative paintings once in a while. I do enjoy them, um, especially if it's uh, glow-in-the-dark uh, paintings. Um, so this one, uh, I worked a lot on the sky. Uh, the sky has some uh, phosphorescent stars in it and uh, the flower, the carnivorous plant has uh, some phosphorescent touches in it too. And these are my Halloween series. I love Halloween and it's coming up right now so I should do more Halloween paintings. And this one was inspired by uh, Planet Earth 2. Um, series of documentaries uh, on the planet Earth, the beauties of it, and the way it's filmed, it's just beautiful. And this one was um, inspired by uh, 
de Orionid Shooting Stars. And then there are my horses series. They too glow in the dark, the sky does. So this one is a painting of uh, fishes I had in Canada. In Canada I had five fish tanks. I really love them. I uh, I don't know why, uh, but I just find uh, I find them really relaxing. Uh, they're relaxing to watch, uh, and the noise of the water moving can be relaxing too. Um, it's just relaxing to see uh, the fish swim and interact with each other. It's kind of uh, cool. I like it. This one was also part of the Halloween series. Uh, it's my owl, uh, owl, and uh, it also glows in the dark, the moon and the eyes of the owl. This one was uh, my first, very first uh, fluorescent painting. Uh, you probably recognize uh, the fish uh, from um, Finding Nemo. It's the angler fish. It's a uh, fish that lives in the depth of the ocean and has uh, some bioluminescent uh, characteristic to it. So I thought I would uh, paint that with the fluorescent colors so it would, it would uh, illuminate and uh, that's what I did. And as you can see, the colors are uh, still quite flashy on it so They last uh, for a good 10 years, at least. Are, I'm pretty sure they have more time to go. And then you have uh, the skeleton with flowers. And uh, that's one of my friend's requests. And up there it's uh, Oogie Boogie from A Nightmare Before Christmas. I just love that movie, I really do, and it's all made with uh, phosphor uh, fluorescent paints, except the background, and uh, as you can see, they are so pretty colorful, and they react also with the black light, I tested them, and uh, yeah, works nicely. And then! Here. It's a painting I did back in school. And this one I did everything. Uh, I built the frame for the canvas. And then I stretched the canvas on it. And then I gessoed the canvas from... I built it, painted it from A to Z. Uh, this one was a conceptual painting uh, on music and uh, how the music can make us feel um, different emotion depending on the music and how colors can too and uh, how colors can make us feel some emotion as well and they can represent some emotions and then Hi Dragon, my two first um, glow in the dark painting, the city, blue city, and uh, the wheel, and yeah, those paintings, they also glow in the dark. Uh, I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up, but uh, I'm sure going to try to show it to you guys because uh, when I go to sleep at night <laughs> I have a bunch of paintings to look at and I find it pretty amazing. The first night I uh, hung them in my room I was so excited I took forever to go to sleep and uh, was just looking at the painting <laughs> all glowing in the dark and <laughs> I, I found it really funny. Anyway, uh, let me turn off the lights and uh, I'll show you that. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, 
as you can see, uh, my apartment is quite small. It's only two bed, well, two rooms. I have one bedroom and one living space with a kitchen in it. That's it. <laughs> that's all there is to it. Um, that's why I'm considering considering to move, and I'm trying to find a find a well. We are trying to find a new apartment, my husband and I, and um, that way I could dedicate a room to having um, my painting set up, my filming set up, permanently, not uh, the setup I have now that we uh, need to remove uh, and build, <laughs> build, <laughs> literally, um, every time I want to paint. So that's about it for today. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I hope uh, maybe you learned something from it, uh, something that could help you uh, improve uh, your um, picture taking abilities. I don't know. I just hope you liked it. <laughs> so on that note, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you liked that video, um, give it a like. It helps me a lot. Um, make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye!